Aww, animals. Alaskan teen mauled by bear running down mountain. A 16-year-old running in an annual race near Anchorage, Alaska, suffered a gruesome death at the hands of a bear that he could not outrun. On June 18th, while participating in a local three-mile race, Patrick Cooper was making his way down the side of a mountain trail when he was spotted by an unfriendly foe. Around 12.30, having veered slightly off the path, Patrick soon realized someone was on his tail, but it wasn't a fellow runner. It was an angry bear. Panicked and alone, running as fast as he could, the boy quickly texted his mother to let her know he was in trouble. Black bears can run up to 30 miles per hour, and traveling downhill, poor Patrick didn't stand a chance. The teen's body was found a mile away from the trailhead, where he was pronounced dead. The search for the bear is ongoing. Patrick's untimely death is one of two fatal bear attacks reported in Alaska since Sunday. On June 19th, two contractors were ambushed by a bear at an exploration site in Fairbanks, one of whom was killed. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Bears may look friendly, but they're usually not. Boy Scout leader getting mauled by an angry bear is saved by scouts and dog. A 50-year-old Boy Scout leader was taking three scouts on a Sunday hike yesterday when he accidentally woke up a hibernating bear. Christopher Petronino was leading three scouts to a cave near Split Rock Reservoir on Sunday. Petronino entered the cave, which he had visited before, but this time there was a bear inside and it bit his foot and dragged him in. Petronino was bitten on both shoulders and the leg. He then struck the bear with a rock hammer and covered his head with his sweater. Petronino told the scouts to leave and find help, but also put whatever food they had by the mouth of the cave. Eventually, the scout's barking dog scared the bear away, and Petronino was airlifted to the hospital. Northern New Jersey recently held its annual black bear hunt, meant to keep bears away from population centers. 510 bears were killed in the hunt. Bear Attacks New Mexico Marathon Runner Wildlife officials in New Mexico have defended a decision to euthanize a black bear, saying state law requires any animal that bites a human to be killed and tested for rabies. The bear was put down after it attacked runner Karen Williams on the weekend. Williams encountered the bear as she was running in a marathon at the Valles Caldera National Preserve on Saturday. The black bear is the only bear in New Mexico and it rarely attacks humans. However, like all bears, black bears are protective of their cubs and can become aggressive if they think their babies are in danger. So when the runner scared a black bear cub as she ran by, mama bear got mad. The bear mauled Williams, biting her neck and scratching her face. Williams was airlifted to hospital and is doing okay after she was released on Sunday, which is better than how mama bear is doing. Wildlife officials tracked down the animal and killed it on Sunday. They're still searching for her three cubs and plan to take them to a wildlife center. Woman mauled by grizzly bear gets up and walks to safety. Mama grizzly bears are known to be especially aggressive while caring for their cubs, and if one attacks you, it's pretty much up to the bear whether you're going to live or die, as a woman in Alaska found out last Sunday. A woman and her soldier husband were jogging around Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson, but got separated. The woman was jogging around a bend when she happened upon a mother bear with two cubs. The eight foot tall bear responded as if the woman were a threat and attacked her. It clawed her arms, legs, neck, and body, then left her to die. Incredibly, the woman survived, then walked two miles uphill to find help. The Air Force advises its personnel to bring bear spray when they go jogging around the base. The grizzly bear will not be shot. Instead, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game recommends that people stay away from the area for a week, giving the bears time to leave. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Young boy savagely attacked by bear in Malaysian forest. A nine-year-old boy and his father are lucky to be alive after falling victim to a vicious attack by a sun bear while foraging for wood in a Malaysian forest. At noon on February 8th, Usap Ching and his young son, Di Usap, were out collecting sandalwood. But they were not alone. The bear first attacked Di's father, slashing his back and the side of his torso. Then the beast went after Di, teeth and claws ripping into the poor child's face and head. Badly wounded, the pair walked for almost an hour until they came to a road where they were found by a plantation worker who rendered aid. The shocked man said he'd never once seen a bear in all his time in the area. 
Young D is currently in hospital and making a slow but steady recovery. Get well soon, D. That's a story for your future grandkids, eh?